All right, as you all can see here, I thought the best technique would be to work the edges and then go ahead with the roof line. So the filling will be mostly done on the two uh, overlapping areas. So if I work the edge on both sides, the middle would be where the most body work is being done. So I don't know what's the best technique for everybody else, but I feel like that would be the best technique for me. So that's what I went on ahead and did. And then it actually turned out pretty good. A lot good. of people don't know the time and patience a lot of this stuff takes. So I be trying to put it in there a little bit here and there, but take some time, man. It's like a $2,500 job right here. Yeah. Pay all day. Yeah. It's a time consuming job, trust me. What's up, man? Another day back. Jump. I'm jumping on some of everything right now. Phone bouncing around. Hold on. All right, so give y'all a little rundown real quick on the box. I'm back on that bad boy. Uh, I'm gonna get my welder set up. Ah, oh, I am officially on leave, so just constant work, man. I'm working on all kind of stuff at once. I'm about to go over there, paint J Rock Energy Bay. Hopefully we get that motor in today. What I plan on doing, man, is taking the Tahoe and the brown box to the shop, man. But it was real hot right here. So, uh, to the exhaust shop. It was real hot right here, man. And I just didn't want to pull the motor out right here, my son. So I just started doing body work and then it just turned to a whole body working paint day. Uh, so those fender flares, I told y'all a long time ago in Tahoe, they kind of warped this from heat or something. I don't really know. Um, but man, we like there the sides, both sides, man, done. So I'm gonna check for my highs and lows, which I don't think I got either. Uh, but if I do, should be nothing to knock out the front. It's like 75% in the middle. I got because I started one side at a time, so I got to meet up in the middle. The back, I'm using my straight line sander. A lot of y'all probably can't see, but that dip right there. The tool I'm using, it's not gonna be able to get, so I gotta pull my straight line out. Uh, I should be able to knock this out in like another four to five hours. Um, Cause you gotta let the stuff dry, and that's the longest part. But pull this bad boy out. Ooh, sandpaper all tore up. I got some sandpaper for it. Uh, I should be able to knock out the back, prime it, and then I'll be able to take this out. Cause I'm trying to get this 300 in here tomorrow once I take maybe this one but i'm trying to take both to the exhaust shop um if i don't be able to make it man so be it the truck gonna be able to go though i'm gonna be able to make it with the box and you know, whatever i'll probably just bring the box in it tomorrow but i'm trying to get that 300 in here get uh it ready for some cylinder heads i'm trying to get everything running man because uh i might this is what i came up with i might just drive all that stuff like get a, a greyhound greyhound man like 50 bucks 50 to 100 bucks <laughs> come up here drive a car back like every weekend or something but i don't know i'm kind of thinking about how i'm gonna do it but i ain't really been getting off with me i've been getting like so low that i already drive the car that's how you know it's low uh i'm asking uh 28 for this cadillac i'm getting 1200 stuff like that like oh man i just, I just drove this car like to chicago and back in atlanta and back 14 15 hours coming to Cover 10 and back, 15 hours, man. So I'm like, man, is this worth 15? I mean, $1,200 to you? Then I need to keep it because uh, that's like the offers I'm getting. Somebody, if y'all follow me on Instagram, somebody offered me 300 for the, for the brown box. Uh, the van, I think I could actually get whatever I asked for for it. As long as I ain't, as long as I ain't crazy. But y'all know I ain't selling my van. I love my van. 
Oh, uh, Chevelle, not for sale. Somebody asked me to too. That's why I gotta keep making that, you know. But too much talking, man. I'm trying to get y'all update on this box. I'm gonna get this roof in here today. I got to. I got to get this roof in here today. Uh, if I don't, it's gonna set me back, back, back. So I need to get this done by the day. Uh, J Rock will be over here later. Hopefully, we can drop his motor and trans in. But I gotta go back and forth. So every time I put some bundle on here, if I don't let it dry, it's gonna clog up my sandpaper. So I have no choice but to let it dry. Once it dry, then I can go and do my thing. So while it's drying, I can jump back over there, boom, 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 back and forth, back and forth. But I just thought I'd give y'all an update on that, man. This thing is looking beautiful. Look from the front. Oh my God. Looking real good. Looking real good. Real good. But. It's enough of that talking, man. I ain't had no music the whole four hours I've been over here. Because all I've been hearing is air compressor pumping, sandpaper, blah, blah, blah. But I'm about to go get my radio up from over there at J-Rocks and then jam while I work, get this little work in. Hopefully, man. I really can't, don't have a choice, but hopefully I get it done. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to sand back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for these fender flares, that roof, paint this engine made. That'll be quick, though. He'll be over here in like two hours. Maybe three, but I'll probably leave here at nine o'clock. Man, I've been over here all day. I'm hungry, I'm hot, and I'm tired. But I'm still gonna push. I'm gonna work. Man, I didn't use like three quarters. No, I say like half, half a gallon of filler. But I almost got the shape I want. Yeah, you can see. I'm almost there. Almost there. I thought I'd be able to make it shake. But I'm not. I'm finna check my uh, purchases on eBay and see when my filler make it. Cause uh, I'm trying my best not to put this bundle on it. But I'm so close to finish. I don't think I got enough of that. But Tahoe got his own filler, man. I don't use customs products on my own stuff ever. Unless they say, yeah, just go ahead, keep it, whatever. But uh, too much reducing that the boy running a little bit. Wet thing it come right up though. Uh, well, I was waiting on the sun to come down, so filler won't be so hard when I apply it on this side. But I'm about to go ahead and tape it up. Then I just noticed his body got a little something right there. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, I tape that up. Um, feel that side. This front one, front one pretty straight. Pretty straight and then uh jump on this door tape it up get it done real quick uh let's see something oh yeah it kind of go into this channel yeah i was hoping it did anyway i'm working get this in the bay panty real quick y'all just seen man the compressor is playing catch up with the sander so uh looking like tomorrow man i use like half oh man i use like half a uh gallon uh filler 
and sand it off three-eighths of it. <laughs> but it's coming too, man. All the dark spots is what's low. So here on over. The sides should be pretty straight. So I know the front got a couple of lows and that's about it. I got a little spot up here. Uh, right here. Still a little wavy right here, but could just do my hand. Got an outside right here. It's pretty much there. So I'm about to prime it and then let y'all see what it looks like. But like, man, it's like there. If I had more filler, I'd say like two more layers, then I would have been there. But the, but the uh, pressure plane catch up, so I just gotta keep doing this back and forth with this one. Uh, this one just take a lot of air, I guess. Um, so I'm blow this boy off, got to mix and prime up. Same one more time, clean the gun, put it together and uh, spray it one time. But the compressor cut out like every three, four minutes. So I'm gonna let it run, uh, max it out one more time. And come do this one more time. And yeah, hopefully y'all can hear me. Good job. Yeah, it's close, man, but it's not there. And then uh, that side, man, it had a big, huge dent right there. Uh, I noticed when I first, first put that first roof in, and it's still causing me problems but right now. So. I'm gonna figure out what I need to do, but I just soak it in prime so y'all can get it like a, a picture without seeing all the different colors. But like I said, the sides, man, it's pretty smooth. Still need a few more coats. Y'all can see uh, some wet, some dry. You still see green ish, but the sides need to be feathered on the edges here and there. But other than that, man, pretty straight. It's great. Still wet here and there. It's wet right there. There ain't too many spots on the front. But all in all, man, it's gonna soak up a lot of primer once all the stuff, all the bodywork stuff is done. Uh kind of dirty. Yeah, so um I guess I gotta wait for my filler to come because I'm not trying to put bondo in here. Bondo is so hard to sand and it clogs your sandpaper. And this stuff is actually real old, so it's already hard to sand. Um, but I guess this will be a part one. Uh, check the status of my filler and then see when I can make a part two. But, I mean, it's good enough for me to put the glass back in, drain lines, and park it outside. But I kind of didn't want to do that, but I still might end up having to. But, yeah, man, it's like there. Like literally like 85, 90%. But yeah, that's it for now, man.